This is the Speedflex helmet mock-up from Webpixum, and today I'm going to explain to you how it works. In Photoshop, let's add a logo to the helmet first. Hold down Command and click on the helmet. This will take you to the Shell Smart Object. Double click to open the Smart Object. I'm going to jump over to Illustrator, copy the logo, and place it in the Smart Object. Scale the logo as you wish, and don't forget to turn off the grid by clicking the eye icon. Save and close this smart object. Hold down Command and click on the helmet stripe. Double click this layer to open up the smart object, and I'll use the same previous steps to apply the helmet stripe. Let's start adding some color. Hold down Command and click on the helmet. Double click this layer to change its color. Click OK. If you have preferred colors in your library, simply choose the part of the helmet that you want to change the color on and select the color. I'm going to continue to choose the colors that I want for each part of the helmet. Let's change the bumper logo. Hold down Command and click where it says what picks them. Double click to open up the smart object. I'm going to grab the word mark from Illustrator and paste it into the smart object. The word mark is on the bumper, but it looks flat. Let's go back into the Smart Object and add a couple gradients. Hold down Command and click on the Layers thumbnail. This will make a direct selection of the word mark. Go to Select, Modify, and Contract. And I'm going to use three pixels. Hit OK. Next, add a new layer. Select the Gradient tool and then click the Gradient bar at the top to open up its properties. Click the color to transparent gradient and then change its color to white. With the gradient still selected, click a point above the word mark and drag halfway. Do the same for the bottom portion. Save and close. The word mark looks a bit more realistic. Okay, let's change this shadow. There's actually two shadows to choose from. One makes the helmet look like it's lying on the floor and the other makes it look like it's hovering. I'll choose the hover option. I'm going to double click the background layer to change it to a stone gray. Let's change the eye shield. Like the shadows, there are two versions clear and tinted. I'm going to go with the tinted version, but also add a color. Click the drop down arrow and turn on the orange default color. Double click to change its color. Speedflex Helmet Mockup by Webpixum explained. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this tutorial and want to see more like it, give it a thumbs up.